Speed Drop, video I've been promising that'll come out. Speed Drop is a rapid target engagement technique. It is not a precision tool. This was created by Accuracy First, Todd Hodnett, and his son Colby Hodnett. Now, there's videos of this on YouTube. A couple individuals have done them. Col Colby himself has done it. Uh, he initially did the video. So for those of you that have your have a applied ballistics Kestrel, you will see an accuracy first feature in there and it says speed drop. A lot of people are wondering what is speed drop? So I'm here to tell you what it is. Now, I go about it in a slightly different way, but it gives me the same answer. Slightly different answer than what the Kestrel's giving me, but point is I'm getting the gun number that I need, which is my speed drop number. So I wrote down my dopes for these distances. So I like starting at about 300 to about 800, depending on the altitude that I'm at, because this is generally where I'm gonna see my range for where the speed drop is applicable. The distance that you want it to be applicable depends on the amount of error you're willing to accept, which you'll see this over here. Now, the goal of speed drop is to be able to make your range your hold or be able to just subtract your speed drop number from the range on the fly and that's going to be your hold this is an hands down my favorite way of engaging targets rapidly hands down now here's my dope in black and the range is in black the way you find these out the hard way for those of you guys that are not using the kestrel and like i've also said i prefer using the ford off app because i i in my opinion it gives me a better firing solution a more accurate one, I should say. So I like just spending the extra couple of minutes to write it out and base it off the dope that I get from my Ford off app. So 300, one mil, 350, 1.4, so on, so forth. What I'm gonna do now is make these decimals. So 300 is three, 350 is 3.5, four, 4.5, five, 5.5, so on, so forth. I take my trajectory and I subtract it from the range. So three minus one gives me two. 3.5 minus 1.4 gives me 2.1. Four minus 1.7 gives me 2.3. So on, so forth. You guys got that. Now, we start to see a pattern. Starts small, starts to grow, stays pretty consistent, and then starts to drop and fall off. Now, I look, the, my method of doing this, there's a couple ways of going about this. This is my preferred way that I found I really like. If this, I look for the number that seems to be the most common. 2.5 seems to be the most common. This is not my speed drop number yet. This is the second to last step. So I've identified that 2.5 is the most common number that I'm getting. So if I want to have within a plus or minus 0.2 error of my engagement on target, I subtract 0.2 from this and that'll be my number. If I want a plus or minus 0.1, it's gonna shorten the range because I'm giving myself less room for error. It's, I'm gonna subtract 0.1 from that and it will give me 2.4. I've already crunched these numbers to make sure everything's driving up. So if my gun number is 2.3, I prefer running a plus or minus 0.2. It gives me a little bit more to work with. But if I want the plus or minus 0.2 and my gun number is 2.3, for instance, 500 becomes five. So 500 minus 2.3 gives me 2.7. That's within a 10. So 2.3 is now my number. Now, for those of you guys that have zero stops that you can adjust and go your speed drop number under zero, what you're gonna do is dial, if your speed drop number is 2.3, you can dial under zero, not above it, under zero, 2.3. Now I've effectively just erased my speed drop out of the scope and now I just hold the range. 400, I hold four. 450, I hold 4.5. 500, I hold five. 550, I hold 5.5, so on and so forth. But for those of us that don't have the ability to go that far under zero, myself included, I can get rid of the decimal. I can dial 0.3 under zero, and now I just subtract two from my range. Target's at 400 yards, four minus two, hold two mils fire. That, that easy, this is the point of it. Seven minus two, hold five mils fire. It's that fast, but I've already gotten rid of the 0.3 of error in it. So this is a very effective tool to engage targets. And I honestly recommend you guys give it a shot. 
Now, Colby Hodnett said in one of his videos talking about this, that there is a way to combine max point blank and speed drop together. That's, I know how to do it. I was fortunate enough to be taught that by some individuals. They asked me to exclude this from the video and out of respect for them, I'm not gonna talk about it. But if you understand max point blank and you understand speed drop, there is a way to combine the two. Uh, once Colby decides to come out and release that himself, I'll be more than happy to go ahead and get that information out there for you guys as well. That is my personal favorite way of doing it. But speed drop is, if this is all you got, money. So let's go and test this out, guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and test my gun number. So 2.3 was the number, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead because I can't fully dial 2.3 under zero, I'll dial the 0.3 out. All right. Now, some of you ask, what about parallax? Do you adjust it on the fly because this is for speed? I have a good field of depth with the zero compromise optic, so I run it right in the middle. So I'm gonna be engaging 350, 650, 350, 450, 550, and 650. And I'll, actually, I'll probably do the 700 as well. So I'm just gonna run it at about my 400 parallax middle of the road. You're not missing because of parallax, guys. So let's open this up at 350. First target is 350, so that becomes 3.5. 3.5 minus two gives me 1.5. There we go. Now, 450. 4.5 minus two gives me 2.5. All right, 550. 5.5 minus two gives me 3.5. 650. 6.5 minus two, 4.5. And let's go for that 700. Seven minus two gives me five even. So let's go with five mils. All right guys, that's speed drop for you.